Good evening. It's Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. Welcome to the Town of Carmel Town Board voting meeting. Uh, after this meeting, we're going to have a work session meeting. I'm calling this meeting to order, and I'm asking our town clerk, Ann Spofford, to call a roll call vote, please. Councilman Baranowski. Here. Councilman Lombardi. Here. Uh, Councilwoman McDonough is absent. Councilman Channel. Here. And Supervisor Kazari. Here. If everyone, if everyone would please rise, face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If we just take a moment of silence for the brave men and women who are keeping this country safe and for all the first responders who take good care of us. Thank you. So again, in the interest of decorum and allowing members of the public to address the board prior to us voting, uh, I have moved the public comment section to the beginning of the meeting. You have uh, three minutes to speak on agenda items only. Uh, if any residents that want to get up and speak, please uh, state your name and your address. All right, thank you. Uh, moving on to the agenda. Uh, first, uh, I make a motion to accept the minutes from January 19th, February 2nd, and February 9th. So moved. Second. Sec Seconded by uh, Councilman Channel. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The minutes are accepted. Okay, what happened? Uh, our first resolution authorizing entry into contracts. Uh, Councilman Lombardi. <clears throat> Whereas appropriations have been made in the 2022 town budget for entry into various contracts for the, pre, or for the provision of various services to the town of Carmel, and whereas said, said contracts are on file in the office of the town supervisor for inspection of, and review of all town board members, now therefore be it resolved that the town board of town of Carmel hereby authorizes the town supervisor to enter into and execute on behalf of the town contracts with the following contractors for the services indicated in an amount not exceeded that set forth below. And I offer this resolution as pre-filed with the town clerk. Second. Second. Second by uh, Councilman Channel. Roll call vote. Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lombardi. Aye. Councilman Channel. Yes. Supervisor Kizieri. Yes, resolution carried. Uh, the second uh, resolution is authorizing settlement of litigations. Councilman Chow. Whereas there is currently pending in Supreme Court, Put County of Putnam, State of New York, under index number 501015 slash 2021, a certain lawsuit entitled 888 Route 6 LLC versus the Town of Carmel regarding the tax assessment for the property known and designated Town of Carmel tax maps number 65.13-1-56, and whereas a proposed settlement of the litigation has been negotiated by Glenn Drosy, Town Assessor, and Special Counsel John Cherico, both of whom have recommended approval of the proposed settlement. Now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel <clears throat> hereby authorizes the settlement of the aforementioned litigation as recommended and be it further resolved that Special Counsel John Cherico is hereby authorized to sign on behalf of the Town of Carmel the stipulation of settlement and corresponding consent judgment reflecting the terms of the settlement. I offer this resolution as read. Second. <clears throat> Seconded by Councilman Lombardi. Roll call. Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lombardi. Aye. Councilman Channel. Yes. Supervisor Kaziri. Yes. Uh, motion carried. Resolution number three, adopting amended Town of Carmel organizational chart. Uh, resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby adopts and ratifies the Town of Carmel organizational chart as amended, in form as attached hereto, and made part thereof effective immediately. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by uh, 
Councilman Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Number four, authorizing advertisement for bids. <clears throat> Councilman Baranowski. Resolved that Michael J. Simone, Town of Carmel <clears throat> Superintendent of Highways, is hereby authorized to advertise for bids for the purchase of spring construction <clears throat> materials for use by the Town of Carmel Highway Department. And be it further resolved that upon finalization and completion of bid specifications, the Superintendent of Highways is to furnish detailed specifications for the above to the town clerk and Spofford, which are to be used in conjunction with the town's general bid conditions and specifications. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Channel. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. <clears throat> Number five, resolution acknowledging receipt of notice of availability of records and docket Town of Carmel Justice Court. Uh, Councilman uh, Lombardi. Resolved that the Town Board of Town of Carmel hereby acknowledges receipt of notice from Town Justices Daniel Miller and Thomas J. Jacobellis that the 2021 records and dockets of said court have been made available for inspection by the Town Board pursuant to New York Uniform Justice Court Act Section uh, 2019-A. I hope the resolution is read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Channel. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. <coughs> Resolution number six, uh, establishing employment anniversary date. Councilman Channel. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby revises the date of hire and or anniversary date for employee number 2777 from 1-20-2022 to 11-23-2020 for all purposes including but not limited to credit in the New York State and local retirement system. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Lombardi. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, resolution carried. Resolution number seven, uh, <clears throat> establishing employment anniversary date resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby revises the date of hire and or anniversary date for employee number 2578 from 120 2022 to 413 2018 for all purposes including but not limited to credit in New York State and local retirement system. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Eight. Resolution amending employment anniversary date. Um, Councilman Baranowski. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby revises the anniversary date for employee number 2910 to 312 2019 for all purposes, including but not limited to credit in the New York State and local retirement system. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Lombardi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution carried. Resolution number nine awarding bid for landscaping, grass cutting for town parks. Councilman Lombardi. Resolved that the Town Board of Town of Carmel has previously authorized, excuse me, whereas the Town Board of Town of Carmel had previously authorized advertisement for the solicitation of bids for landscaping slash grass cutting services at various Town of Carmel town parks, Town of Carmel Town Hall, Highway Department, Historical Building, and whereas a bid opening memo has been prepared by Director of Parks and Recreation James R. Gilchrist, a copy of which is on file with the town clerk Ann Spofford. And whereas the town, excuse me, whereas the Director of Parks and Recreations has recommended the awarding of the bid to Greenway Property Services in Stanford, Connecticut, and now therefore be it resolved the Town Board of Town of Carmel hereby awards the bid to Greenway Property Services Inc., Stanford, Connecticut, the lowest responsible bidder who met specifications. Mm -hmm at an annual contract price of $64,350 for years 2022 and 2023, an annual contract price of $67,320 for years 2024 and 2025, and a unilateral renewable option in favor of the Town of Carmel for 2026 at a price of $69,750. And be it further resolved that upon presentation of insurance certificates and a performance bond in form acceptable to town council 
Town Supervisor Michael Cazari is hereby authorized to enter into the aforesaid contract and to execute any necessary documentation required in connection therewith. I offer the resolution as read. A second. Seconded by Councilman Channel. Roll call vote. Councilman Duranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilman Channel? Yes. Supervisor Cazari? Yes. Resolution <laughs> carried. Uh, resolution number 10, resolution accepting <clears throat> proposed purchase of automatic samplers, Carmel Sewer District number 2. Councilman Channel? Resolved that the Town Board, the Town of Carmel, acting as commissioners of Carmel Sewer District number 2, and upon the recommendation of Town of Carmel Town Engineer Richard J. Franzetti, PA, hereby accepts the proposal of Hatch Company, Loveland, Colorado, for purchase of two automatic sampler units for the Carmel Sewer District number 2 wastewater treatment plant at a cost not to exceed $14,352.50 and in accordance with the proposal slash quotation dated January 14th, 2022, and be it further resolved that the town supervisor, Michael Kazari, is hereby authorized to sign all necessary documents to accept said proposal. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. <coughs> Seconded by Councilman uh, Baranowski. Roll call. Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lombardi. Aye. Channel. Yes. Supervisor yes. Resolution carried. Uh, number 11. Resolution acknowledging emergency repairs, Carmel Water and Sewer Districts. <clears throat> Resolve the Town Board of the Town of Carmel acting as commissioners of the various water and sewer districts of the Town of Carmel hereby acknowledges the emergency performance of water and sewer district collection system, distribution system, and treatment facility repairs as fully detailed in the memorandum of town engineer Richard J. Franzetti PE to the town board dated February 2nd, 2022, as attached hereto and made a part thereof. I um, offer this resolution as read. Seconded. I second it by Councilman Baranowski. Roll call vote. Councilman Baranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilman Channel? Yes. Supervisor Cazio? Yes, resolution carried. Number 12, resolution accepting proposal for engineering services, Carmel Sewer District number five. Uh, Councilman Lombardi. No, Councilman Baranowski. It's a long one. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the town board of the town of Carmel, Sorry, a so act <laughs> acting as commissioners of town of, town of Carmel Sewer District number five, <clears throat> and pursuant to the direction of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, NYSDEC previously authorized an investigation into the effluent related issues with respect to the Carmel Sewer District Number no. 5 wastewater treatment plant systems and whereas on or about June 19, 2019, the town board entered into an order of consent with NYSDEC addressing and remediating certain violations at the CSD number five treatment plan concerning the treatment of effluent discharge at said plan. And whereas NYSDEC subsequently proposed a modified order on consent imposing new effluent treatment standards for the facility at CSD number five treatment plan. And whereas on December 15, 2021, the town board accordingly authorized entry into a modified order on consent with NYSDEC. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel, upon the recommendation of town engineer Richard J. Franzetti, PE, and acting as commissioners of Carmel Sewer District number five, hereby accepts the amended proposal of J. Robert Fulchetti and Associates, LLC, Brewster, New York, to develop and provide a facilities plan for Carmel Sewer District number five in accordance with the terms of the modified order on consent and an additional cost of $13,500 and a total overall cost of $69,300. And be it further resolved that Town Supervisor Michael Kazari is hereby authorized to execute any and all documentation reasonably necessary to effectuate <laughs> the purchase authorized here under. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Channel. Roll call vote, Councilman please. Councilman Baranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilman Channel? Yes. Supervisor Kazari? Yes, resolution carried. Uh, 13, resolution accepting proposal for purchase of CMF feed pump, Carmel 
Seward District Number Four, Councilman Lombardi. Resolve the Town Board of Tana Carmel, acting as Commissioners of Carmel Seward District Number Four, and upon the recommendation of Town of Carmel Engineer Richard J. Frenzetti, PE, hereby accepts the proposal of Edmonds Metro, LLC, Albany, New York, for the purchase of a CMF feed pump at the Carmel Seward District Number Four treatment plant plant at a cost not to exceed $13,446 and in accordance with the proposal slash invoice dated December 27th, 2021. And be it further resolved, Town Supervisor Michael Cazari is hereby authorized to sign any necessary documents to accept said proposal. And be it further resolved, the Town Controller Marianne Maxwell is hereby authorized to make any budgetary transfers or modifications required pursuant to this authorization. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by uh, Councilman Baranowski. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lombardi. Aye. Councilman Channel. Yes. Supervisor Kazari. Yes. Resolution carried. 14. Resolution accepting proposal for engineering services. Uh, Councilman Channel. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel, upon the recommendation of Town of Carmel Superintendent of Highways, Michael J. Simone, hereby accepts the proposal for engineering design services for Birch Road drainage culvert rehabilitation from Robert, from J. Robert Fulchetti and Associates, LLC, Brewster, New York, as detailed in the proposal dated January 24, 2022, as attached hereto and made a part of thereof. And be it further resolved that the town supervisor, Michael Kazari, is hereby authorized to sign all necessary documents to effectuate the author authorization set forth herein, and be it further resolved that the Town Comptroller, Mary Ann Maxwell, is hereby authorized to make any and all necessary budget revisions to effect the ever said purchase transaction authorized herein. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. <laughs> Seconded by <laughs> Councilman Baranowski. Uh, local vote. Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lombardi, right. Councilman Channel, yes. Supervisor Kazari. Yes, resolution carried. Um, is that hard to do? I'll remind it. <clears throat> yep, okay. okay. Uh, it was the same grant? Yeah, thank you. So 15, resolution authorizing chief of police to proceed with the purchase of police vehicles. Whereas the town board of the town of Carmel has been advised by chief of police, Anthony Hoffman, that the supply chain delays incurred in the previous, previously authorized prior police vehicles from 2021 have prevented the town of Carmel Police Department from taking delivery of such vehicles. Now, therefore, be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the Chief of Police, in accordance with procedures set forth in the Town of Carmel, adopted procurement policy, the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby determines that an emergency exists pursuant to New York State General Municipal Law 103.4 with respect to the existing uh, shortage in the vehicle fleet of the Town of Carmel Police Department and be it further resolved that the Chief of Police is hereby authorized to proceed with the purchase of one new 2021 Ford F-150 XL vehicle from McMahon Ford Norwalk, Connecticut at a cost not to exceed $47,565 and be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby authorizes Chief of Police Anthony Hoffman to proceed with the purchase of one new 2021 Ford F-150 police responder vehicle at a cost not to exceed $44,838.18 from the City of Rye Police Department uh, pursuant to New York State General Municipal Law 1036 and be it further resolved that Chief of Police Anthony Hoffman is hereby authorized to sign all necessary documents to purchase said vehicle from the respective vendor set forth herein and be it further resolved that Town Comptroller Mary Ann Maxwell is hereby authorized to make any and all necessary budget revisions to affect the aforesaid 
purchase transaction authorized herein. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by Councilman Baranowski. Roll call vote. Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lombardi. Aye. Right. Councilman Shadow. Yes. Supervisor Kazari. Yes. Resolution carried. <clears throat> Number 16. Resolution authorizing Chief of Police to proceed with purchase of police vehicles. Councilman. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby authorizes Chief of Police Anthony Hoffman to proceed with the purchase of two new Ford 2022 Ford Interceptor Police Hybrid SUV vehicles at a cost not to exceed $36,859.50 per vehicle from Buyer Ford, East Hanover, New Jersey, under Westchester County contract number RFB WC 19023, pursuant to General Municipal Law Section 10316. And be it further resolved that Police Chief Anthony Hoffman is hereby authorized to sign all necessary documents to purchase said vehicles from the respected vendors set forth herein in accordance with their bid contract quotations dated February 3rd, 2022. And be it further resolved that Town Comptroller Mary Ann Maxwell is hereby authorized to make any and all necessary budget revisions to affect the aforesaid purchase transactions authorized therein. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Channel. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Baranowski? Yes. <coughs> Aye. Channel. Yes. Supervisor Kizari. Yes. Resolution carried. 17. Resolution partially rescinding prior resolution and authorizing purchase of equipment, Town of Carmel Highway Department. Uh, Councilman Lombardi, please. Mm, sure. Resolve the Town Board of Town of Carmel upon the recommendation of Town of Carmel Superintendent of Highways, Michael J. Simone, hereby rescind that portion of the resolution of the Car Town Board of Town of Carmel dated January 5, 2022 which authorizes the purchase of a John Deere 410L backhoe loader from vendor Jesco Inc. Beacon, New York, at a cost not to exceed $124,900 per NYSOGS contract number P excuse me, PC 69403 Sourcewell contract number 032119 JDC. And be it further resolved, the Town Board of Town of Carmel, upon the request and recommendation of Town of Carmel Superintendent of Highways, Michael J. Simone, hereby authorizes the purchase of one Caterpillar Model 420-07XE backhoe from vendor H.O. Penn Machinery Company, Inc., Poughkeepsie, New York, at a cost not to exceed $120,100 per NYSOGS contract number PC 69406, Group 40625, and be it further resolved, Town Supervisor Michael Cazare is hereby authorized to sign any necessary documents to effectuate this authorization set forth herein, and be it further resolved, the Town Controller Marion Maxwell is hereby authorized to make any and all necessary budget revisions to affect the aforesaid purchase transaction authorized herein. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Shannel. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Baranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilman Shannel? Yes. Supervisor Kazeri? Yes. Resolution carried. Uh, 18 is resolution accepting proposal for independent auditing services and preparation of uh, annual comprehensive financial report. Councilman um, Shannel. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby accepts the proposal. <clears throat> of PKF O'Connor Davies, LLP, Harrison, New York, for the provision of independent auditing services and preparation of an annual comprehensive financial report for the Town of Carmel for years ending 2021, 2022, and 2023. In accordance with the proposal dated January 19, 2022, a copy of which is on file in the Office of the Town Supervisor. And be it further resolved that pursuant to the reference proposal, Compensation for the contemplated services shall aggregate $78,000 for years ending 2021, 2022, 
and $79,400 for year ending 2023. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Second by Councilman Lombardi. Roll call vote. Councilman Baranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilman Channel? Yes. Supervisor Kizari? Yes. Resolution carried. So that concludes our resolutions for the voting meeting. Does uh, any board members have any comments? No. Nope. All right. So a motion to adjourn the voting meeting. So moved. Second. Lombardi and Channel. Yep. So moved. Okay, a motion to open the town board. Oh, all, all in favor? Aha. Aye. Aye. All right. So <clears throat> that's closed. Motion to open. So moved. Second. Lombardi and uh, Channel. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So again, anyone that wants to get up, any resident, three minutes on agenda items. Okay. Uh, the first uh, up is Town Comptroller Marianne Maxwell, consider request to authorize budget, budget revisions December 2021. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, as you know, the uh, we are um, working on closing out the year for 2021. The auditors will be here the weeks of March 7th and March 14th. So um, what I'm presenting to you now is the budget revisions closing out the year for 2021, December of 2021. So in the general fund, we're providing for a transfer to the debt fund for the, a future band payment. There was an excess, um, a, a excess in uh, the general fund. So uh, as you know, the mortgage tax revenue came in much higher than was what was budgeted, um, over a million dollars. We did use some of that money towards the 22 budget, and we did use some of that money towards uh, the purchase of a police boat. So what I'm proposing is to put the other 600000 into the debt fund to pay for future band payments for projects such as the airport, pro airport park, um, the, uh, we have uh, outstanding bonds, uh, bans on drainage, also Swan Cove, you know, so we can use some of that profit, transfer it to the debt fund to avoid us from having to bond out as much debt. So I, I'm, you know, proposing that. There will be an additional surplus because we did have excess in other lines, but the, the biggest um, surplus is the mortgage tax revenue in 2021. So number two in the general fund, you're transferring for legal services. 12,000 is being transferred into the search for legal service line. Number three in the general fund, you're transferring for miscellaneous expenses within the general fund. Number four, we're transferring for snow plowing of property downtown in the month of December and also the purchase of brackets to hang the veterans flags. Um, 2,600 is being transferred into that line. Number four, we're transferring from miscellaneous police expenses, including the health insurance um, buyouts. For officers, that's for officers that don't take the health insurance. They receive a buyout. A number of them are opting to do that, so it is saving the town money, but we needed to transfer money into that line to pay the buyouts. Uh, number six, we're transfer, transferring from miscellaneous recreation expenses. And the highway fund, um, we're also providing for a transfer of, to the debt fund for future band payments in the highway fund. So we will have a surplus also in the highway fund. Um, and I'm proposing that we transfer 100000 into the debt fund to pay for future band payments. Uh, number eight, also in the highway fund, transferring for miscellaneous highway fund expenses. Uh, number 10, Carmel Water District number two, we're providing and transfer, transferring for miscellaneous expenses. 80,000 is coming from the fund balance in water district number two to cover uh, emergency repairs and also the purchase of water. The purchase of water is the water that we pay to New York City. So that came in over budget this year it, in 2021, came in much higher than it has in previous years. Did the price so, go up or did, we, did they use more? I, the rates went up, yeah, yeah. And I, th I think the, the usage went up too. So it was, it was I think we budgeted 700,000 and came in 750, like 760. Okay. So, you know, I, I, I could be wrong on that, those numbers, but it was 
short, you know, than what we budgeted. So, um, Water District Number Three, we're providing for the purchase of a generator from an insurance claim. This was a um, generator that failed, and we were able to recover twenty-seven thousand from insurance. I think the total cost was thirty-two thousand. So. Oh, also in Water District Number Three, we're, tr we're transferring for equipment and other operating expenses. Karma Water District Number Seven, we're providing a transfer for miscellaneous expenses. Thirty-four hundred is coming from the fund balance in Water District Number Seven. I'm just mentioning the, the amounts that are coming from the fund balance because that's you know if it's tr a transfer within the funds, I think I've spoken you know mentioned this before. It's within the fund and it's not affecting the budget. But if you're taking it from the fund balance, it is, it could become an issue. I mean, for Water District Number Seven, it's certainly $3,400, but it's something we'll keep an eye on. Um, on page three, Carmel Sewer District Number Two, transferring for miscellaneous expenses within the budget. Carmel Sewer District Number Four, uh, also <coughs> transferring within the budget for miscellaneous expenses. And same with Carmel Sewer District Number Five. Carmel Sewer District Number Seven, we're providing and transferring for contractual expenses. Thirty-five hundred is coming from the fund balance in Sewer District Number Seven. And the last one is Lake McGregor Lighting District. We did have to take a hundred thousand from that fund balance. I'm, I'm sorry, not a hundred thousand, a hundred dollars <laughs> from that fund balance to cover Turn the, the cost <laughs> to cover the cost of contractual util utilities. So, any, any questions? questions. Um, the mortgage recording tax. When do we get our first glimpse into how we're doing for you know, we, first we quarter? We get a monthly. January? We get we a monthly um, report from the county. Okay. It's not exact. Got it. You know they 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 take a you know, I think it's every six months they actually send us a check, but. Monthly, they do give us an estimate of what, what the cost was. I think for January, I think it was around 164000 Okay. So it was still up. It was higher than, you know, what we budgeted. So okay. when, I so, think we so budgeted in 2022 $1,500,000. Mm -hmm. Got it. You know, so, so it looks like that positive 000. trend still has traction. It's still, it's still po yes. Okay. We're still seeing the mortgage tax revenue coming in. Got Correct. It. Great. So Thank you. I will uh, keep the board up to date with that. I usually send an email quarterly with mm -hmm. the an updated mortgage tax revenue. Great. So. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very yeah. much. Have a good You're night. Welcome. Thank you. Have a good night. Yep. Thank you. So is everyone okay with uh, a resolution next voting meeting on approving that? Yes. 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 <laughs> so next up is our, our engineer, Richard J. Franzetti, PE. Uh -huh. Consider request to accept proposal for engineering services, Carmel Sewer District Number Four, infiltration and inflow, I and I investigation. Sir, good evening. Good How evening. are you all tonight? Good. So, as you have you been hearing from Marianne and us all the past year, Sewer Four has been contending with inflow and infiltration or I and I issues for a couple of years during 2021. What is years on record? extremely high flows were experienced and we spent a significant amount of funds on pump outs and other maintenance requirements. To date, no violations of our speedies permit have, have been experienced. In order to address this issue, JRFA was, uh, had been asked to develop a proposal for the investigation of the system and analysis of potential causes for the problems. In the attached proposal, the scope identifies an evaluation of emergency work performed, assessment of mappings, development of a pipeline assessment certification program to inspect the collection system, and assistance in engaging a TV inspection company and develop an engineering report. The proposal is at a cost of $18,700. The remaining work, supervised TV inspection, review PACP which, uh, uh, in video inspections and reports cannot be determined at this time, and an amended proposal will be provided once the inspection contractor is engaged. Town control has been consulted and has identified there are insufficient funds in the budget, however, as is not included in the 2022 budget. However, the funds can be encumbered through the operating budget. Eventually, the cost can be transferred to a capital line once we have a capital plan in place for this project. That's, so, that's all I got for you. Any idea what, what the, um, the TV analysis um, would cost ballpark 
that's going to be in addition to the 18,700. So, and but I, I, I really am having a hard time hearing tonight. I do apologize. The, the, no t the, so, the TV through the, uh, so what's that going to cost? It's really gonna, I, no, I don't have an idea of what that's going to cost. I can look at what we did for Sewer District 1, but th there's a different, different mileage, and right. it's a couple of years later. But we spent close to a million dollars in Sewer District 1. On the, um, just on the TV or yeah. everything all together? It was videoing, and, and it was also, um, uh, we also did rehabilitation of manholes with that. Okay. So, no, let me take that back. No, let me take that back. You're right. That, that a million. Right. It was close to a million dollars. Mm -hmm. That that was the lining and the the relining of the, the redoing of the uh, the manholes. Uh, the videoing was part of that whole project. So that's what this will identify. We're gonna I, we're gonna video it, identify where we have to fix it, and that's gonna be what the next steps are. So that's a smaller portion. The videoing is a smaller portion of the bigger project. So so no, I don't know that answer. And thank you, Frank. <laughs> Anybody else? All right, just a question on the, on the, um, the funding. That's um, it's going to be coming through the operating budget, and once we get a um, capital plan, we can transfer it from the capital line? How, yeah, I mean, how exactly essentially that we're work? going to put a ban out and, and bond this okay. on the grand scheme of things. So, yes, that's right. how that would fall into place right, right now. Correct. I'm hoping that we... Um, you know, can come up with this estimate sooner rather than later because then we can include this in the October ban, which we, we start preparing in August. So if we, if we do, you know, go ahead and get, move forward with this, we can move this 18,000 was not budgeted in the operating fund. We can, ex, you know, encumber it in the operating fund and then transfer it to the, oper to the capital fund once we have an estimate that we can, you know, prepare a bond resolution and, and you know, authorize the, the borrowing, right. basically. That's what we have to do. We have to authorize the borrowing, but we have to have an estimate to do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So. Thank you. Yep. So we're, the resolution is going to say what? Going to be authorizing the the, the, the videoing and the study and the proposal, yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's the so the resolution will be authorizing the I and I for for soup for Secor's sewer district. Right. So is everybody okay with expending that money? They don't have it, and we're going to have to uh, transfer it and bond it later? Yes. Okay. No, no, they're going to bond the work later. Yeah, yeah, the work later, yeah. But we don't know how much the TV inspection work is going to be. That's no. the only thing. No, not at this time. That's what this first part of it will get us there to figure it out when we engage and we'll know a price we'll put some we'll put a bid out on RFP out for that work and then we'll know that price okay right Correct. when the bids come then we'll be able to say they said right. the responsible so, so bidder the, said yeah. this much right yeah. exactly okay so if everybody's okay with that we'll do a resolution on that please So item number three is uh, Richard J. Friends at EPE, town engineer. Consider a request to acknowledge emergency repair, Carmel Sewer District number two, Duke Road pump station. Pump, please. So on February 7th, Infomark, the operators for Carmel Sewer District two alerted the engineering department that the pump located at Duke Road pump station was not operating correctly. They obtained a price quote for a replacement pump and an emergency temporary pump to be installed. The temporary pump is needed as the lead time for the new pump is 12 to 16 weeks. The workers deemed an emergency as this pump, if not functioning, could cause potential compliance issues and will cause the town of Carmel to be in compliance with our speedies permit. As such, the engineering department uh, authorized a quote for Coester Associates to purchase and install the pump and VFDs variable frequency drives in the amount of $28,190 or our funds for this in the budget. Uh, I did speak to our operators today. The temporary pump is a smaller pump and it seems to be working. So the pumps that were in there originally were 30 horsepower. 
they were able to put a 20 horsepower horse pump in there. That's good news because we, we might, you know, we might get a cheaper pump, a 20 horsepower pump than the 28,190. So that's a good thing. It's good news. Even though we're spending the money, we still need the pump. It'll be a smaller pump at less money that's going to operate. So, right, so, so a silver the, lining. Why can't the emergency pump be used as the full-time pump? Well, that's that's actually an option that we're gonna we're gonna look into because we only then only have one pump. Once we purchase a new one, we may keep the emergency pump also and purchase that at a lesser price because it was already used, not just by us, but it was used prior. So we'll have that pump in operation and a new pump. We don't know what that cost is going to be just yet. We want to just see when we get there. So the idea is we would have those two pumps. Do we have backup pumps in all these stations? For, for the most part, yes. I, uh, our operators go out and they inspect the pump station two or three times uh, a week, uh, and they're aware of it. This is one that just happened to be on its way out or failing. So, yes, we do have this. There's always a redundant pump system in, in these uh, pump stations. So we'll be able to retain the emergency pump for a potential replacement or emergency down the line? We're going to have to purchase that, but, yes, we will be able to do that. I will come back to the board with that when we get closer to the need for that at the moment. Right now we have a pump that's working. So. Okay. And I guess it makes no sense to use the emergency pump as the regular pump and then rebuild the pump that failed and use that as an emergency? Well, yeah, the other pump that failed, they, they're going to look into having it rebuilt. So that's kind of we're in that limbo right now. These are all good questions. You know, we, we could offer to buy the, the 20 horsepower pump that's in there now. We'll get a smaller pump in the future, which will be cheaper. Maybe we can repair the other pump. I'm still waiting to hear back. That has been sent out to be repaired. That's standard practice. Our operators, when they, unless it's completely fried, you know, and they know it, um, you know, they will send it out to see if it can be repaired. Sometimes it's a rewiring. Sometimes it's replacing of an impeller. There's a whole bunch of different things that can go on with it. So they're looking into that now. Sometimes it just gets junk. There's nothing that can be done with it. It, it is what it is. So. Yeah. Understood. Thank you. So, so. We're all good with doing a resolution yes. to, mm -hmm. on the pump. Yeah. Right. We're going to get a new pump, and we're going to look at whether this one's going to be repaired or we're going to keep the backup one and, and the whole thing. Right. Respectfully, we've already ordered that pump, so we're, we're bound to get the new pump. Because it was an emergency. Because it was an emergency. It's the other pieces of the puzzle that I will come back to the board with once I have better mm -hmm. information to present to the board. Well, and then we'll know a price on... Yes. The repair or purchase of Correct. The or backup. the purchase of that other the emergency pump. Right. And the pumps are similar at the different stations or no? <laughs> I wish that were the no. case. <laughs> if that were the case, we'd be, we'd be golden, but they're, it isn't. They're all different. <laughs> and the reason why is they all are, are sized differently for uh, based on their depth, based on the amount of flows going into it. You know, so it, it's it's that type of you know what they have to do, where they have to pump to. So that's why they're all different. Okay, and then item four is Richard J. Friends, Eddie P.E., town engineer. Consider request to authorize purchase of main turbine pump, Carmel Water District number eight. So B&J, the operators of Carmel Water, Carmel Water District 8, advise the engineering department that the 25 horsepower main turbine pump for the plant seized and no longer functions. Uh, they had used the spare that they had uh, to replace the failed pump. The department had requested B&J to obtain quotes to purchase a spare main turbine pump in order to provide redundancy at the water treatment plant. The need for a redundant pump is considered an emergency. B&J requested and received quotes from DNS Groundwater System and Parkhurst Distributing. The lowest price was DNS at $31,997.75. Um, the advised the department that the replacement pump is provided only by Goulds and have indicated that the life expectancy is around 10 years. This plant, the water plant, serves water districts 1, 8, 10, and 13. The cost has been allocated uh, along each of these districts, as outlined in the memo, uh, for each of those districts. We advise the controller, uh, or controller's office's expenditure, and there are sufficient funds for this expense to be made or purchase to be made. Anybody? Okay. All right, so, and we'll do a resolution then authorizing the lowest price on this pump for a backup pump. Good. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Good night. So that's the uh, the last item on the work session. Um, the one comment I wanted to make is uh, yeah, I had one also. 
Okay. Is that we, one of the uh, contractors that we had for many years, uh, I really liked the kid. He was uh, one of our IT people, Matt, Matt Whalen, passed away on the 8th of February. Um, uh, the, the town, we, we sent uh, flowers uh, to the funeral parlor um, and our condolences to the family. Matt was just, he was a great guy. And um, it's really tragic to, when someone young uh, passes away. That's my only comment, Frank. Yeah, just uh, in the past couple of months, there's been a lot of discussion uh, in and around town and in, in the public with regard to energy costs and energy bills um, for electric at home. And the Public Service Commission is again trying to seek increases, and the reason they're trying to seek increases is because uh, the cost of propane has increased. Well, the cost of everything has increased. We're at a 40-year high inflation in this country, and the Public Service Commission, which is potentially going to be approving, uh, or excuse me, the legislature will be approving their increase, is going to affect those in our community who are not only been afflicted with the, the increase of inflation, but also our seniors and our working families can no longer afford these, these costs. And I know that there's some other municipalities who have been um, down county because of Con Edison have been trying to do the same thing. I'm going to ask that this town board, and I've asked for it before and we've done it before, send a very, very strongly worded letter on behalf of the residents of the town of Carmel to the Public Service Commission, to the governor, to the Senate and to the Assembly with regard to our outrage that there is even a consideration for a proposed increase for NYSIC for energy costs um, and electricity costs here uh, in the town of Carmel, also in Putnam County. And, and again, it, you know, what do we as a town board can do about it? Well, we can voice our frustrations on behalf of the residents of the town of Carmel. So, Mr. Supervisor, I think uh, with the help and the assistance of council and the board, we need to send out that letter. We need to contact all the those who would influence the decision of the Public Service Commission to allow them to raise the rates. Um, you know, too bad, so sad. I mean, propane has gone up. Yeah, so what? You know what? You can blame D.C. for that. Don't don't look to the residents of the town of Carmel who are already paying, you know, a dollar more plus for gas to also now have increases in their electric bill when they least can afford it. So I'm, that's my request. Okay. Bob? Yeah. All right. So um, the town board is going to uh, make a motion to go to executive session, and we're going to adjourn from there. We have a... Uh, contractual uh, item on, which will take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. So uh, can I get a motion to adjourn to executive session? Second. All, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.